This Let's Play was supported by these awesome hobby companies. Hi everybody, I'm back with Pavo, and today we are going to be playing Scenario 4, Into the Maw of the Earth. So, we're back for another turn of our uh, The Edge campaign. So, yes. uh, what are our goals today? Uh, for today, uh, Isha, I think it was Isha, mm -hmm. the uh, tree maid we know for, from the first scenario, yes. uh, will try to escape the underground labyrinth. Ah, I see. And your forces will try to catch her and kill her before she does that. Okay. As I already got this uh, BO4 uh, sticker mm -hmm. on the campaign map, yeah, I will have additional guardian with me. Ah, that's nice. Since I managed to get a pretty good result from the first scenario, yeah. this carries over to this one. Ah, so this is now feeding back into the yeah. later ones. Yeah, Excellent. So now I got some. Uh, st I still have some. Um, you know, some advantage in crystals. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, just a quick reminder for everybody: this is an ongoing series. So if this is the first time you're seeing this go across and actually start watching from the beginning. In the first episode, we're going through all the main mechanics of the game. Because this is a later one, we are going to be moving faster, so we're not going to be stopping to explain stuff too much. It is going to be more of a, a versus punch up as we become more comfortable with the game and actually the mechanics and the tactics that are playing along. So if you want to actually learn to play, go back to the beginning. This cursed earthquake. The Oracle couldn't believe how easily it blindsided her. Was she too focused on the battle? Or... Perhaps her grip on the time streams was loosening again. The result was catastrophic. Swerving between deep chasms and the enemy groups, her warriors were too late to save Aisha's warband. A large herd of faceless found and attacked them. Everything, down to the last painful detail, unfolded exactly like the vision the Oracle had at the start. Her riders dragged down from their steeds, her tree mates massacred, the sewing lost. Well, nearly lost. At least one of the warden's tree mate Iris survived. She was lost and heavily wounded, but she has managed to find unlikely allies. A group of armed humans, three dozen strong, much to the Oracle's surprise. Humans not only didn't kill Iris on sight, but they tended to her wounds. They had to notice her human skin was fake, but their strange sense of pity still forced them to help. This didn't make Iris entirely safe, though. The band of humans was also hunted by the Faceless. To escape, they'd chosen a perilous path, a long dark labyrinth of tunnels dug under the hills long before the judgment. If sticker A32, Twinefield Medic, is located on the corresponding slot of the campaign map, also read script 41. Uh, but as not we not there. Yeah, as we didn't play the chapter versus demons before. Yeah. We didn't get to place this sticker. Ah, That's so the this... thing we were telling, talking about during yeah. the first scenario, during this yeah. intro uh, video. Yeah, so that depending on which of the other campaigns you've played, they can exactly. have impact. So because we're playing through this first, if we then play those, will these then have impacts on them that we wouldn't get otherwise? Yes, exactly. Exactly awesome. like so. If we would meet this uh, Twine uh, mm -hmm. field medic uh, yeah. uh, earlier in one of the campaigns, yeah. she would be present here. Gotcha. And she would have some impact on this scenario. Maybe I could get another miniature to play mm -hmm. with. I quite like this, that they're, they're impacting each other. Sometimes our prey kills itself before we catch it. Stupid. Death does not stop us from claiming what's ours. Fresh meat is still full of essence. Minds can be restored. Living creatures see death as a way of escape, but it only brings them more pain, more terror. This time a large group of humans fell for this madness. Instead of fighting us, they ran to a place of death, deep underground, to a web of dark, half-collapsed tunnels. We know these passages. Many of our bodies died there, crushed under the rubble, fallen into crevices. But if humans want us to fight there, we will. They need light to see the way. We do not. The smaller of our bodies squeeze into the tunnels. The larger take the surface route, through steep hills. Okay. okay, so this is you trying to escape from me. So, yeah. how do we lay out the board then? So, uh, first thing, we don't have any shrines on the board for okay. this game. So, my shrine, which I took in the last uh, scenario, is not used now. Okay. We still get to uh, deploy the crystal sources. Okay. And uh, since there is nothing which overrides the standard rules, mm -hmm. we do the standard uh, as the standard rule says. Okay. So, so we get a roll off. <laughs> Give me. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, we roll off first. Okay. Who will start the deployment? Okay, red die? Yeah. 
Okay, for me, it's, it's a one. one. And Here's for me, it's four. a four. So. Okay, so I will start the deployment uh -huh. then. Or I will give you the chance to be uh, first during the game. Mm -hmm. What do we think? I would prefer to be the first during the game, so you get the deployment choice also. Okay. You'll start the deployment. So we start so with the crystals then? Yeah. Or is there anything else that gets deployed here? Uh, first we put the crystals. Okay. Then we put our forces. Uh-huh. Okay. That way. Uh, so I'm going to pop one. Just see, you can't really catch it on the way past. Dead center. Okay. So I will put this one somewhere over here, maybe. Mm -hmm. Uh, I will pop one here. Okay, and since I don't have my shrine, I would like you to be spread as much around as possible. Mm -hmm. We'll put one over here. Okay. Actually. Hmm. Yeah, all right. That, that'll do. Uh, so I'll start deploying my forces. What do I get? Uh, actually, in this scenario, uh, you will have two berserker squads, but yeah. at the start of it, you only deploy single berserker model. Ooh. So uh, I stumbled onto a single uh, faceless w model. Right, uh, so crawling around in the dark, you've yeah. accidentally woken this, this lovely, yeah. lovely fellow up who wants to give you a hug. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, you know, it's only a single one right now, but mm -hmm. it will attract more of them. Yeah. So okay. I need to be quick to find right. my exit. Mm. And for, um, the n for now, I don't see any. Yeah, I think I'll put myself like here, nice and central. All Actually, right. Mm. I'll actually go somewhere closer to the edge, because I know okay. you have to come this way eventually. Okay. Because uh, as I think there's one other thing I have to deploy. I think isn't it these tokens? Uh, yeah, but they will be deployed at the start of the first turn. So gotcha. at this point, I'm deploying blind. I don't know ah. where the exits are, and you gotcha. will take uh, you know quite a role of a game master in this. Okay. In this way. All right. All right, so I will deploy. Uh, I actually can deploy both squads now because yep, you don't I have only anything have the one. else. Yep. Yeah. So where are you gonna go? So for my Iris tree maid, uh huh. Uh, I will deploy her somewhere more central, actually. Like here. Yeah. Okay. Quite far away from him. Mm hmm And my uh, guardian will go somewhere, maybe over here, just mm -hmm. to discourage you a bit. <laughs> from, you know, getting to her in turn one and slashing her to pieces. Okay. Actually, your objective will be to kill her. Mm -hmm. And my objective is to uh, run away as quickly as possible. Yep. Find an exit and get out. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And my guardian is yeah. only there to, you know, to try and stop you from doing that. Okay. All right. So uh, we have our uh, setup finished mm -hmm. and there will be some special rules. Okay. So uh, first we will set up the exits. It's the first, um, first script on the first turn. So okay. normally we would start the game right now. Yeah. You will set up uh, those. Uh, yeah. We read out the script for that. Okay, what's it's the script? Script 42. Script 42, all right. Iris never realized how much she hated tight spaces until she found herself in one. Within the half-buried labyrinth, even her slender body couldn't fit into many of the corridors. Her human allies fared even worse. With their bulky armor, they kept to the broadest, most obvious paths. When the faceless showed up in the rear, Iris dove into the nearest hole, hoping the enemy would be occupied with her saviors long enough for her to escape. After all, no sense of loyalty was worth as much as her life. The faceless player put six small tokens face down on any empty spaces along the edge of the map, at least two large hexes away from one another. These tokens represent side corridors and passages of the labyrinth and will be revealed according to the special rules of this battle. The battle continues. Yeah, so this is me now deploying these. So I have six tokens that I'm going to put all the way around. And they have to be, at the minimum, edge. two away. So I'll go one here. Okay. I'll go one, two, one here. All right. I'll go one, two, three, one here. I'll go one, two, and one here. Uh, it can be more, actually. Mm -hmm. It's at least two spaces away, so mm -hmm. if you want, you can spread them out. Well, I'm thinking you have to run all the way around here. If I put something in the back here, you're just going to okay. run straight to it and search. All right. So I'm thinking if I go here, okay. and then this is further away from you as well. Oh, this Although, actually, if I go to here... Oh, it's 
So that means you have a little further to run to get to each of them. Yeah, but this one I will get pretty quickly. Yeah, I'll beginning. let you have one. I'll okay. let you have one. Okay. Maybe herd you in the direction I want. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it could be Actually, hmm, that last one I'm going to change. Okay. I'm going to pop it right here. Because mm -hmm. that might drag you this way. And then the sensible way to come around is here into me. <laughs> okay. Okay. Fine. So we had the script set out. It yep. will be the first turn. Mm -hmm. And I will start it. Okay. Uh, well, let's take a moment and uh, we'll yeah. be right back. Ready to play. Okay, everybody, we're ready for turn one. Uh, uh, you have the first activation. Yeah, and uh, we draw up to three cards. Up to three. Okay. Uno, one, dos, two, tres. Three. All right. Anything interesting? Mm, yeah, I can work with this. No fickets. This. No fickets this time for me. <laughs> <laughs> that will, that will actually hamper me somehow. <laughs> All right. I will start with. Hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I am saying you have more crystals than me. I'm guessing that's a bonus you get for this one. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's you know, on the one on the one hand, I got only pretty weak tree made. Yeah. And very slow ancient god, and yeah. I need to check if I am able to, you know, reach all of them. Yeah. Okay. Actually. So, for starters, uh, I will activate the tree maid. She's quicker. Uh -huh. And I will flip her to, I will change her mode. Mm -hmm. Now she has uh, zero initiative, zero attack, uh -huh. plus one defense. So, yeah. she's, uh, you know, yeah. very easy to kill. Yes. But so she has four movement. Yeah, she's not focusing on fighting at all. She's just ducking and dodging. Yeah. Okay. She's just running around trying to, you know, to get to the exit. Mm -hmm. And I will go one, two, three. Uh -huh. So I am base to base contact with yep. the token and also with crystal source if I want to do Take a, a passive, passive turn. Yeah, you could. And OK. So now I will try to, uh, as a free action, I can quickly search this exit. Uh -huh. I will use the yellow die for this. OK. I cannot pay for it. If yeah. I would uh, sacrifice my movement mm -hmm. for searching, I would uh, use Ask a red die. I spend longer looking around, which yeah, gives me exactly. time to run in on you. Yeah, Dangerous. exactly. And there is a small table in the campaign book which says what will happen after yep. the roll. Cool. Roll so it. I'm rolling. For a one. It's a one. And it says that nothing happens. OK. It was already, already searched. Uh -huh. It stays there because it might be useful. Yeah, I'm just going to pull it outside to the edge of the board so that we know this is one you have searched. I will use the uh, ah, action token for fair this. Fair enough. So I search this one. I get one progress token. We will use charge tokens for this. Uh -huh. And now I get plus one okay. to any uh, consecutive roll okay. in any of the other uh, okay. exits. You could do an ambush mm. to give me a minus one uh, yeah. to this search roll. So uh, that was my activation for the mm -hmm. first turn. It was pretty quick. Yeah. And I will discard one card mm -hmm. just to, you know, try and... All right, I will discard, uh, not this one, this one. Mm -hmm. Just to try to, uh, you know, yeah. uh, shuffle through the deck, just to get to this good, good dodge, which yeah. I will need at some <laughs> point. <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, so done? So, yeah, I'm Onto done. Me. It's your turn. Yep, I'll take the active turn. And first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to evolve this Berserker. All right. For one crystal, which will just make him a little faster, a little tougher. Mm -hmm. He's got a move of two, so he'll just go one and two. Okay. He's in base contact. Yeah. He will set up an ambush. Okay, so use your uh, endurance token. Mm -hmm. Set it up on the board. Yep. Yeah. Like which so. means you'll get a, a minus one on this. Yeah, so this one will be a bit more difficult for me to search. Mm -hmm. He attracted his brethren there, and yeah. it will Screaming be up the tunnel. Oi, yeah. dude! Grand's here. <laughs> Probably do, it'll work like so. <laughs> All right, yeah. and so? so I'm done. And it, mm. any cards? No. All I'm right. just going to keep what I have for now. All right. Now, if you don't escape by the time that time track runs out, uh, it depends. Okay. It depends. Probably. Um, yeah, I have this objective of uh, reach the exit and last turn. Ah, during the last turn, all the t tokens will be revealed. Mm -hmm. So I will be running for each one of those. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. So I will activate her again. Uh huh. And I think I won't run towards those two. What? You're not coming down this way? <laughs> no, Aww. I don't think so. <laughs> but they're so I close. Wouldn't, I wouldn't like that. Actually, uh, after this, 
Okay. Mm -hmm. And progress. Ah, we forgot about one very important thing. Okay. After searching through this one, uh -huh. you will get a berserker over there. I get a berserker, but I thought nothing happened. Yeah, nothing happened because of the roll. Uh -huh. But after a corridor token is revealed, mm -hmm. so I searched through it, the reborn player takes one charge token representing my progress. I did uh -huh. that. Uh, making subsequent uh, exploration easier. Then the faceless player places a berserker model on one of the previously revealed corridors. Oh, this right. one was so already uh, yeah. revealed. Yeah. Okay. So this should have been here during my turn. Yeah. I'll pop him here. Okay. As if I was just looking at you and not attacking you. <laughs> okay. Fine. So I'm just running away, screaming yep. probably. Mm -hmm. She's like, eek, wow. and I'm going with the evolved squad for that one. All right. Just I assume I have to declare that as I bring them in. Yeah, I feel, yeah, that would be. Yeah, that would okay. be great. All right. So I will just try to run away. Mm -hmm. I cannot use this one. Hmm, shame. Oh, actually, I could. I will use Allure uh -huh. since we are in base to base contact. Uh -huh. oh. I will move him aside. <laughs> she just <laughs> yeah, told him, it. like, please go somewhere else. Be somewhere else. Uh -huh. I paid one crystal for that. Yeah. And I will move him like one uh -huh. and two. Ugh. Not bad. Yeah. And now she's running in completely opposite direction. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that now explains why you're not coming this way. One, <laughs> two, three, three, and four. Okay. Again, next to the crystal sauce. Mm -hmm. That's it. Uh, something else? No. I will discard one card uh -huh. just to get two more. As you okay. can see, I'm shuffling very quickly to get this dodge yeah. card. It will help me so much. I really <laughs> need this card. Yeah. And now it's your turn again. All right. So my Berserker squad will activate. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to play a berserkers. card on them to give them a move. All right. So they get a free move of a one and a two. Okay. And this guy is just going to go one and two. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking if you're coming around this way, I might be able to get ahead of you. I just yeah. ignore this guy for now. <laughs> yeah, I would have to activate him to actually do anything. Yeah. Oh, actually, one thing I do need to do is just move him yeah. there so that you can't just move forward one and hit me. Exactly. Good, <laughs> good idea. Just something to be careful of. Mm -hmm. You're okay with that? Yeah, yeah, fine, fine. You didn't attack me there, so yeah. it's fine. And then I draw one? Yes. It's the third turn already. As uh -huh. you can see, it goes pretty quickly. Super quick, yeah. Yeah, and we have uh, script 44 to read out. Script 44, okay. A lone faceless stumbles out of the dark straight into Iris. The tree maid jumps, her heart races. It takes her a moment to realize it's not the enemy, but a man covered in stinking strips of faceless flesh, his beard unkempt and his eyes sparkling with madness. He claims he came here with the faceless herd and used the tunnels as the opportunity to separate and reach his people. He waves a scroll full of unintelligible scribbles. This has to reach the High Priest and the Holy Knights, he says. Help me, and I'm going to help you. The Reborn player places a single blade breeder model adjacent to the Tree Maid and marks its base. This model represents the Wanderer and remains under his control. The Wanderer gets a bonus activation any time the Reborn player activates his Tree Maid. He cannot attack and cannot be attacked or harmed although he can move, movement three, and reveal corridor tokens. I have some friends down here. Mm -hmm. They don't look nice. They don't so. smell nice, but <laughs> still they are friends. I, yeah, so he's and there. I need all the friends I can get now. Okay, I need to remember he's not mine. Yeah, the, the guy with pointy, with <laughs> yeah. pointy hand, yeah. it's not yours. Yeah. So I will activate the tree mate. He okay. will have his free activations afterwards. Mm -hmm. He'll run. Oh, actually, hang on. Yeah. My turn. I only used my card. Yeah, you just did I, an extra I didn't move, actually yeah. move. Now, my plan had been I was just moving across the east. So okay. I would go, go one and two, mm -hmm. and he would go one and two. All right. Because that's where I was planning to go. Apologies fine. for that, folks. Fine. Uh, now, because I'm not in this hex, I'm not base to base. Yes. That's fine. But it means next round I can set up another ambush. Exactly. So I will go like... And actually, uh, if yeah. I do that, it's yeah. fun. Just because then I can get myself a passive turn where I can grab a Yeah, crystal. and I will have some briefing space then, actually. <laughs> One, and two, and three. Uh-huh. Okay, Over so here. you're on board there. Yeah. Base to base, quick search. Yes, it will be a quick search again. Uh-huh. So rolling for that one. Yeah. 
It's a three, three. plus one. Four. So it's what a do you four. get? What do you get? Let me just check the book. Mm -hmm. I do like how light the book is, that you can very quickly get to where you're going. Yeah, and actually, if you know that the scripts are in the back, mm -hmm. the missions you in the front. You can very quickly get to where you need. Quite quick. Uh, from three to five, loud noises echo through the corridors, drawing in the faceless. The faceless player may immediately perform extra move with one of his squads. So I just gave you an extra move. Oof. What to do, what to do. All right, it's time to get at it. So this faceless here is going to move. I was going to go for a passive turn, but uh, if I go one yeah. and two to here. Okay. Means I'm pretty close to you. And I get to deploy another one, and you get another progress token, yeah? Uh, yeah. But from the previous uh, revealed one, so probably over there. Yep. So you just don't, you know, appear yep. next to me. So I will put one from the other squad here. Okay. Ah, uh, no. Can it be in base contact with it? Yes, why not? Okay. Well, again, if it's, if it's something you're unsure about that you're not sure the book mentions, just agree between yourselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, just arrange the most sensible mm -hmm. outcome. And this guy has a free activation. Ah, actually, you could move this guy also. It was a squad movement. A squad movement? Oh, yeah. I see. Mm. So we could move this guy also. Yeah, so he'll go one and two. Okay. So there. Hmm. Start guarding these and maybe locking you up. He, he has a movement of three, so now yeah, I can... <laughs> Just yeah, you dash can and sort of dash over this there. way, although you do have this guy who might swing mm, around. Yeah, but maybe I will move with him over here. Possibly. You cannot attack him, so you know. Yeah, that's actually, that, yeah. That might be my moment, actually, mm -hmm. to do that. Uh, one, two, and three. Yeah. Oh, maybe next to her, so she act as a little guardian. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And that was the end of yours, then? Yeah, I've... Any just, card you want to get rid of? Yeah, just quickly, if I want anything to play, no, mm -hmm. nothing. I just discard the card. And mm -hmm. Oh, this one would be quite useful. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do, yeah, I could activate and go for an attack now, but you're just going to run away and get to somewhere you want to be. So I'm going to go for a passive turn. So that'll okay. generate me two crystals. Two crystals, yeah. And I get to refresh my other one, which will give me four, bringing me on par with yourself. Yeah. And I do nothing else. Okay. It's fine by me. Okay, so we move the time track. It's my turn again. Mm -hmm. All right, so, hmm, three maids. What to do now? Yeah, I would love to get to kill at least one of your berserkers. Yeah, they're, they're starting to pile up on you. Yeah, uh, it's a bit scary now. Yeah. Uh, important note, this guy's from the Unevolved Over. Squad. Okay. I think I will again activate the tree mate. Uh -huh. I will move, uh, I will change mode okay. of her so she's not running uh, around yeah. very quickly, but she will have some defense. Yeah. So I will have some, uh, you know, some ability to defend myself mm -hmm. at least. Okay. And I will move her um, by two spaces mm -hmm. in this direction. Oh, one, I see. And two. And she will let the uh, wanderer <laughs> do Search. the searching now. <laughs> uh, one okay. and two. Mm -hmm. He is like a faceless for you, so yeah. he will do the, a quick search. Yep. I have a plus two already. Yep. So Although you could slow down and start using that red dice if you want it, because I can't attack him, but it's up to you. Uh, yeah, but it would be the next turn. Uh -huh. uh, nah. nah. Out I'm out. still, <laughs> yeah. It's, you know, it's already the fourth turn, and yeah. we have eight turns yeah. to play. So it's a, a zero. zero plus two. Yeah, becomes a two. Yeah. Oh, I so think you just gave me a free move. It's nothing happens. Yeah, it's zero from two. Oh, zero nothing to two. Will happen. Nothing happens. But still, it is explored now. Mm -hmm. And I get a berserker. Uh, my tokens. Yep. And you are getting right. berserker from one of those two. Yep. Corridors. And he has got to go here. Of course. Okay. Because that means I can activate that squad. <laughs> and now my three mates is <laughs> is really really scared. Mm -hmm. She has one endurance token. Mm -hmm. That's actually an exemption from the rules. Yeah, but, but getting to catch you at least that once is pretty good for me. Yeah, you will have this one swing, and then another mm -hmm. might another opportunity might come yeah. up. Yeah. All right. So uh, my turn then. Mm, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I, I activate the. Just evolve. let me discard something. Yeah, yeah. Discard something if you like. <laughs> All right. I will. So 
Okay, and discarding this one, yep. getting another card. Yep. All right, so the Evolved B Berserker Squad, this one's going to move uh, one and two. Okay. Just in case you decide to go for a sneaky passive turn. <laughs> uh, you know one, me by I don't now. need to worry about him. Yeah, I cannot attack, you cannot attack me. So he's so going to go one searching around. and two, just in case you try to run up this way. Okay. And this one is going to go one to here. And All he right. will set up an ambush. Okay. He will make an attack, and I will buy a red dice. Uh, so it's plus two on a red dice. Okay. You have the higher uh, uh, initiative. initiative two. Yeah. So let's see what we get. Oh, six. it's a six. Bosh. It's an eight. I think I will buy a red die now. It's a good idea that you yeah. switch modes. So only six is for me. Yeah. I need Guarantee it. you get it. Dice oh, of course. Gone. Of course <laughs> I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, come on. Rage! Yeah. All right, I'm, I'm not having that. I'm buying another combat for okay. one crystal. <laughs> Actually, just before you do that, yeah. I still have a counter rotation. Yes, you do, damn. You forget that Swing this back. is only a small weak tree made, but it still yeah, can, can buy the back. Still poke me in the eye. Yep. Go ahead, what are you doing? I will pay for a red die. <laughs> <laughs> okay, All thankfully right. I have my own one endurance. Okay, my weird face uh, reborn magic. Oh, five. It's a five. Plus one, it's a six. <sighs> so I've got zero defense. Yeah, it's do six, you want so to... It's just sixes. I'm just going to let that one slide, but I will roll to see if I get a crystal back. On okay. Uh, oh, uh, helps if I roll in the tray. A four. No good. Four. Anyhow, that's done. Yep. I am now paying a crystal to buy a fresh attack cycle with a red die. Okay. That was not very nice. Die. <laughs> oh, that was almost a six. Yeah, but, but that's do you a want four. A and what's your defense? A ten? Two. Two. Mm. I'll buy the reroll. Actually, no, I won't. I won't buy the reroll. Oh. Take it at that. Take it at that. Okay. Let's see what you can do. <laughs> do I want to use a red die now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> really? <coughs> oh, yeah, actually, I do. Okay. I'm paying for a red die. Now I don't have yep, any. No, I do get to refresh one of these because yes, I didn't exactly. reroll. And it's a four, four plus two, it's a six. Yep. You so defend. I'm safe. And, and you get I get to a counterattack. Yep. Yeah. It was the you're out of crystals. Yeah, so only. Yellow die. You get and I mark. refresh a crystal, it's a plus one. Uh huh. So I get a two. two. So we defended successfully, yeah. Okay. Buying another combat. What? <laughs> oh, come on. There is nothing like once per turn or something on that. <laughs> no, there's Okay. Not. And I'm going to buy the red die because now you have nothing to defend uh, if I get a nice spike here. Still. Oh, uh, you have one. A four. It's a six. A six, yeah. Yeah. So I will go for a red die now. <laughs> Come on, I and have to get one through here. And then I need that's, to run that's away. That's three attacks. I, I have to get one in here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'll end the thing. <laughs> for a one. one. I finally get a damage in yep. there. Taking so away your I'll, endurance. My endurance token is out. And I get one crystal back. I had to work hard for that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Uh, I agree. Don't tell me you have an overcome button there. No, well, I'm out of crystals Oof. anyway. Oof. Oof. You still I'll save this. this and end my turn and draw two. And those two. Ooh, she's in a bad, bad spot mm -hmm. right now. Okay, I need to search this yep. ambushed one, but first yep. I need to move her. Well, the good thing is activating her lets you move him. Yeah. Yeah, that. At least I got some, you yeah. know, some like time to, to, to look around for yeah. this exit. We move the time track. It's yeah. already fifth turn. Yeah. All right. Uh, not nice at all. Okay. Oh, come on. Why, do, why those two need, on be, need to be on the same, uh, on the same card? Uh, right. I got only one crystal. All right. <laughs> Let's do this. This way. Mm. Okay. First thing I will uh -huh. do, I will move three maid. Yep. So where's she gonna go? She'll go like one uh -huh. and two. Uh -huh. Okay, that's the that's a good spot. Okay. I'll use a paralysis. 
Oh, with my last remaining crystal, <laughs> I will at least He's stop this a, guy uh -huh. from taking a stab at me. He uh, can still he catch can me. Still catch you, yeah. Yeah, but it will be one attack instead of two. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah, I will survive one. <laughs> okay, so paralysis token I paid. Okay, so stay here, please. Mm -hmm. And anything else? Okay, I could actually. No, I don't have any resources left for that. Mm -hmm. I might try to use the sewing. Okay, which does uh, I can I get to pay any number of crystals, mm -hmm. and I get to place the same amount of uh, tickets. Oh, you're out of crystals. Yeah, I know, but I still can play with anything ah, else. Yeah, so you're, I will so pay. You're gonna use the ancient stuff. Okay. Yeah, I will pay one. Pay one to <laughs> place one ticket. Yeah, and I will place it somewhere over here as a shield of some <laughs> sort. Actually, this guy will. And stab me no, mm -hmm. no matter what. But I can at least prevent this one from coming yeah. near. And okay. So actually, I spent two cards, so I get to draw two. So maybe I will yeah, at last that find dodge. that dodge. Yeah. I uh, managed to explore three, so I should have three uh, charges. Yes. And this guy will yeah, go he over here. It. Yeah. And just do a quick search. <laughs> okay. If I I'm not able to roll a seven. Seven is the. Uh, yeah. Number I need to roll to win actually. Uh, to well, find actually, the exit. if you get a four, that no, becomes a six. Ah, because it's I have minus my ambush. one. Yes. yes, your ambush will, you know. Yes, I'm happy I set those up instead of just starting to mindlessly chase you down. You see, you evolve uh -huh. as your faction does. <laughs> <laughs> All right, roll it. All right. See what we get. Probably another four. It would Ooh. be. It would be a win for me. It would be. Well, Except it for would that. be you find the exit. You would still have to get there. Uh, actually, yeah, I think so. Yeah, reach the exit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Agreed. <laughs> uh, so it's a uh, six. Uh -huh. Faceless spring out from the dark. Place one new berserker model in base to base contact with the revealing model. Oh, okay. So you get to place another berserker uh, base to base with me. Yeah, there. Okay. And do I get my other one for you having searched it? Yeah. Uh -huh. From one of the other. Uh, yeah, so this would be my last entrance. berserker. Yes. And I tell you what, I know where you're coming, so <laughs> it needs to be gonna, explored. Yes, he's gonna go here. Okay. So having spaced these out the way I have has been really good for me, especially the way you went searching, because it's allowed me to deploy on both sides of the board now. Yeah, I agree, and right. I can feel now, like you know, uh, I think the expression is the noose is uh, you know tightening. Yeah, yeah, tightening. Right, done. Uh, unfortunately, yes, I cannot do anything more. I know exactly what I'm going to do now. Come on. Come on. Passive turn. Why? Because if I attack you now, I'm only rolling yellow dice. I have no right. rerolls. Right. However, if I take my passive turn now, I get my four back. And you get two more. Two more. Yeah. Oh. Which means that when I eventually do catch up with you, okay. I have enough gas in the tank to actually eat through it and maybe actually do extra attacks if I don't drop my cards. And you get this paralyzed token out of the way. Yes. Actually. Okay, so it's uh, sixth turn. Uh huh. Any more story? Uh, yeah, it's another event. Okay. Uh, it's a script uh, 46. The faceless noises are drawing clothes from every direction. We won't survive this, whispers the wanderer, unless we use my little friend here. He tells Iris about an artifact that kept him safely hidden amongst the faceless herd for many months. An ancient cube that somehow interferes with their senses. Then he presents a strange humming hexahedron, its sides covered in arcane markings. It could probably shield us both, but you'd have to get really, really close, he grins, lifting his rancid, flesh-covered cloak. If the tree maid and the wanderer are next to each other, instead of activating the tree maid, the reborn player may remove both models from the board and place them back anywhere, at least one large hex away from any faceless models or corridor tokens. The battle continues. Your turn. Okay. Right on, is it? No, actually it is my turn. Uh, yeah. yeah, you just took a passive. Yeah, one. and that, yeah, because you start it by taking the first activation, which is yeah. why it's switching on you. Exactly. All right, so I have some briefing space now. A little bit. I just... Or do you? I think I will be bite you a bit, okay. so you will get to this ancient guard now. <laughs> I will pay with my endurance token here. Okay. Just. Oh, you're making him tempting. 
uh, just to heal the tree mate with herbs. Ah. Now she's in base to base contact with a thicket, so she yeah. can heal from it. I see. So she gets this token back. Yeah, that'll just keep her alive a little bit longer. Yeah, Good but call. now uh, for the activation, uh -huh. uh, I think I will move one and two over mm -hmm. here, and this other guy. We'll try to run towards her, so maybe at some point they can actually you know, um, use this special ability. Well, I think it only triggers on it that round. Only once. Yeah, probably so it could be. I don't think it's just if you can get them together. Yeah, it's a script, so yeah, mm -hmm. he fires once. Yeah, so what you might want to do is try and get her to here and him to here. Yeah, that, that could work, actually. So, okay, just run. Yeah. One, two, and three. Yeah. Again, my spacing's working out quite nicely there, just to keep you away. Yeah. All right, back to me. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, so only two, two more turns after this one. So yeah. So I'm gonna mind. pay one crystal. All right. For back to source. Oh, not this one now. So uh, attach a source token to one berserker model. This model cannot take actions. Its attack becomes dash, and all its other attributes uh, have a value of zero. As long as this model remains in play, all faceless squads receive a bonus, uh, one of three tokens. So plus two attack, defense, or initiative. Guess what? Plus three attack. Uh, and I'm putting it where? on this dude here. Okay. Right. On the unevolved squad. Yeah. Yep. Unevolved squad. I'm going to activate the evolved squad. Oh, of course. And they're going to start chasing you down. So this guy here is going to go. Actually, I'm going to play a card first. I'm going to play a move card, which gets them a free move. Okay. <laughs> okay. Not helping me at all. So one, two. Okay. He goes. One, As you can two. see, Justin is out for blood now. One, two. I want revenge. Yeah. And then they get the regular move. Of course. Of one, two. Oh no. One, two. And they're all going to take a swing at her. Okay. I Which mode did you keep yourself? You kept yourself slow yeah, and defensive. Defended. Yep. All right. Mm. Yeah. That's fine. We still have a lot of crystals. Oh, yeah, this so will end badly. I spent one for back to source. Yeah. And I spent one, or no, zero no, for, move move. for free. Yeah. Move for free. And let's take a swing with each of them. So they're on plus three. So that means they're on a five base. Yeah, against my plus two to defense. Gonna yeah. buy a red dice. Okay. Because I know what my rolls are like. The dice gods are about to laugh in my face. Or yeah. not. It's an eight. An eight. That's that's not bad. Okay, I don't have You're anything. Out of crystals. Yeah, this and I won't thing. give you, <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. this too easily. So I will just roll to refresh a crystal. Yeah. And hope for the best. Yeah. Actually, it's not the best outcome. <laughs> so you lose the point. Yeah, I lose the point, and I don't get to refresh yeah. any of the crystals. I Let's think that's it for Isha. Buy a red. Isis, not Isha. Isis. Isis. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, for a six. <laughs> okay. Done so. Too. She's done, and uh, I think that's the end of... Now, does the game instantly end when she's dead? Mm. Yeah, like the eighth turn is last turn. Yeah. So only then uh, the game ends. So mm -hmm. you have still time to kill, for example, my uh, this. ancient guardian. Yeah, but yeah. now she is dead. But so I've dead. completed the major on that, which is fantastic. Yeah. Uh, you can no, no longer activate your Wanderer. He's going, yeah. my friend's dead. No, 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 I'm hiding in the corner again. You know, probably he used this cube he, he was carrying around yeah. and just disappears. Yeah, you see, if it was someone in modern day, they'd probably be standing there going, and this is why I don't use social media. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so the last guy doesn't get to attack. Yeah, uh, which is fine. Is but I get to draw two cards. Yeah, exactly. So now you can try and take revenge. There is nothing much I can do, actually. Ah, no. I was wrong. That token is a plus two. Yeah, yeah, but still it... Yeah, I miscounted, though, so yeah, just for everybody at home, it was one less. It, it was have seven. Because high rolls. So it was seven against plus two. I cannot yeah. use the red die. It still yeah. works. Uh, right. Hmm. Just, just letting you know I caught it. Mm -hmm. I don't have anything to, to actually use one very good card on my hand. <laughs> I don't have any currency <laughs> right. right And now. to take a passive turn would just be too expensive. Yeah, it's, it's, I'm dead then. Yeah. Actually, if I go and uh, I could go out in Blaze of Glory right yeah, now. Yeah, try and take down as many of the evolved squad. Yeah, and that I was actually really lucky for me being able to bring them in like that. Yeah, I miscounted actually with movement. If I would move those four spaces, yeah, it would be you fine. Got away from you couldn't 
You couldn't uh, catch I me. I think I could have chased down with one of them, but yeah, that was about it. One was enough, uh, you know, yeah. for getting, you to take getting out the swarm on. Yeah, yeah, that was my mistake, and it cost me the early. Mm -hmm. It cost me the game actually already. Uh -huh. So okay, why not? Let's kill first one. <laughs> okay. Let's try to slay at least two of them. <laughs> All right, like so. Yeah. And my initiative is one, so you mm. attack first. So probably I just die miserably. Um, yeah, well, they've all got a plus two, so they're on plus four. Yeah. And I may as well buy red dice with this. Oh, come on. For one. Yes. I'll buy a reroll. No. A one. Good. I'll take but the gem back. Still get the but it's, it's still five. It's still five, but I have plus three, so yeah. I can do it. Just with do it on the Yellow die. Do it. Yellow die, come on. Oh, oh come in on. The yeah. Four, you're fine. Four. Yeah. I still don't get to yeah. no get refresh. the crystal back, but I can attack you. Yellow die. It's yep. counter attack. Yep. Do you think? For zero. Plus so two. You get a, yeah. Well, you, you get your crystal back. Not that bad, actually. But I will roll a yellow, because I I think I can make okay. it a two. I can make it two. There's a three. All right. Awesome. I get a crystal. So I pay this crystal. Uh huh. I'm uh, using this card. Uh -huh. This is the one I was talking about when I said I g got a good card. Yeah. It's a backstop on uh -huh. the top and vanishing. It oh. would cost me three um, charges. Charges, yeah. But then it's activated for the whole game. Oh. And as long as I'm base to base with a thicket, yeah. I got plus three to defense. Ooh, that's so vicious. Six. Yeah. But can you make it? No. Uh, but still, I can try and kill you yeah. over there. Backstab. Okay. So it means it's a free attack. Yeah, you don't I get, get no counter attack. Yeah, yeah, so I attack regardless of the yep. initiative. Thankfully, it's only on a yellow. Yeah, but still, I'll try. For a four. It's a six total. It's a six. I'm going to spend a gem for so a So at least one Berserker, like, you know. <laughs> yeah, that, that Ferric Victory. A six, though? Oh, says no. Come on. And the odds have shifted. Yeah, and no counter attack for you. Yeah. Okay, so. Done? Done. On Unfortunately, to me done. So I'll activate that squad of, that went of evolved berserkers. But very quickly. Oh, and now you know what I draw. You got the dodge? Yep. Well, they're going to move up to you. A bit too late. Ready to attack. They will go first. Okay. I will buy a red dice for my first attack and see what I get. Yeah. yeah. For a two, it becomes a four, and I get a gem back. It's a six. Oh, a yes, four. it's a six total. Okay. Have fun with that. Give me this free. <laughs> no. No. Did so I? I'm dead. Ah, Thank him. you. And we still get to read the script 47. Right. Because the ancient guard was killed, unfortunately for me. The ancient gave everything trying to protect Iris. She fought the faceless. She cleared the rubble. She smashed rocks to follow the tree mate into narrow passes. Now, having received a mortal wound... She fills the air with a bellowing roar and smashes against the walls, showering herself and her killers with rubble. Any faceless model adjacent to the ancient guard receives one wound. The battle continues. In your death throes, you've yeah. murdered all three of these. Yeah. It, <laughs> it was supposed to happen earlier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Okay, so... That's the thing, you never know what the script will give you. Yeah, but like, it, it was that I looked at it, I went, I need to pile in on this, and the, the thing, I mean, like the guy who wrote this knew that someone was going to do that, knew yeah. that they were going to pile in on this for Ancient One, and just go, how about, no. Yeah. You, you want to hit all this? No, your entire squad dies for that. Yeah. And if she had still been alive, I would have been going, oh, damn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the thing, that's the thing. She, she was... She was pretty strong, but she was too, you know, too slow to actually play her yeah. in the game. Yeah, but having a bonus objective, I mean, like, whenever you were taking the, the actual resilience offer, these tokens, yeah. it started to make her a very tempting target. Yeah, I was, I was really hoping that you will, at some point, start to attack her instead of uh, the tree mate. Yeah. I was really hoping I, to divert your attention a bit here, yeah. you know, playing above the table yeah. a bit, trying to psych you out, so to speak. Mm-hmm. But you it, see, it didn't work, you had your mm, objective this time. You see, you're under so much time pressure on this one. If you activate this uh, Ancient Guard at all, yeah. it's activations where you're not activating the tree mate and exactly. actually going after the objective. Exactly, you have those extra movements, extra mm. combats. I don't have any of those yeah. in, in my uh, deck. I can yeah. only teleport between those. Yeah. It would be great if I would mm -hmm. actually, you know, drown those cards earlier. Yeah. 
I didn't have any of the thickets. Yeah. I had some woodwalks, yeah. but I had to discard them Oof. just to get those really important cards. Yeah. And you know, after you kill the tree maid, you got I dodge. got dodge. <laughs> like, one well, turn, too late. Yeah. For me, placement has really helped me on this yeah. one, because placing the, the crystal areas where they were and then putting the gates next Actually, to them. I, I uh, placed this one, uh -huh. and I made it for me even worse. Yeah, but having those right next to some of the, the actual key of entrances was really useful for me because I could just deploy next to it, start thinking, okay, I can maybe just back off for a turn. Because I, mean, I think I played like two reactive turns there. Yes, yes. Or two Quite uh, a lot. Passive, passive turns. Quite a um, lot, actually. And that actually generated an extra four crystals, and that just put enough fuel in the tank for me to be buying those boosts because yep. they're so critical to this game. All right, everybody, we're going to tidy up, and we will come back for the resolution on the campaign. Okay, everybody, time for the, the final conclusion for this one. So victory for me, so what do I get? Yeah, so uh, your reward will be to read script 49. Okay. And my penalty is minus one to my forces. So, Oof, so another minus one. Yeah, so I'm down at seven. As soon as we dig our claws into the tree mage, she changes. Her body grows shorter and more stout. The pungent dresden flowing from her wounds transforms into ordinary blood. Soon, the truth is revealed. What we've caught is alone and human. We hiss in discontent. Some magic trick shielded our prey from our eyes. None of our bodies can remember anything like that. No matter. We move on. Next time, no tricks will help the forest witch. Add one to the faceless evolution. Carry on to the next scenario. So, we are so I get a plus one closer. to here. Yeah. Yeah. I need to win like two more to get my next set stage. Yeah. But that's not bad. It's been really fun so far. I'm really enjoying this game. And now on this scenario, I think I'm I'm finally starting to get the, the feel of what I need to be doing. Slowing down, not actually just yeah. charging in and going rah 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 and actually, actually using my economy too quickly. Actually your uh, early game mm -hmm. needs to be like more tactical, mm -hmm. more uh, economy yeah. oriented. Yeah, I need to stop just thinking I need to get in and start hitting stuff. Yes, you your forces are really a steamroller, mm -hmm. but they need to gather this, yes, we need to start this that steam. engine. Yeah, and for me it's a bit easier in that regard mm -hmm. because I have some time then to grow up those thickets. Yeah. I can position myself, I have mm -hmm. some uh, actions which can position your unit like this, other yeah. which can just tell you to go, to go somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And uh, as long as you're giving me this time, mm -hmm. we have this, you know, this race. The balance to it, yeah. Yeah, and there is this race, whoever will, mm -hmm. you know, get stronger quicker. Yeah. All right, everybody, tell you what, get those comments in below, tell us what you think of this scenario. This one for me, I really enjoyed because it put you under a real time crunch and gave you very yeah. little to work with, and this but is still enough to run with. And this is also com something completely different from a normal battle. Mm -hmm. We started with very small forces, and yeah. you're, at some point, you had a really, really big swarm of those mm -hmm. ber berserkers. Yeah, and I, because of the, the way the deployment worked out, I was able to really spread out nicely. It just it yeah. worked really nicely. Okay, everybody, get those comments in. We'll move on. We'll see you again very soon. See ya. We hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now, and be sure to check out beastofwar.com for the latest gaming news and gaming Let's Plays. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe, and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.